Wait, little kitty. Don't jump in liquid nitrogen. Why? Well, that's what I'm here to explain. Hey, friends. So, in today's episode, let us learn a thing or two about smoky liquid nitrogen and answer a bone-chilling question. What will happen if you fall in a pool of liquid nitrogen? Zoom in! If I asked you what you need to live, you might say food, water and oxygen. But you'd be missing one crucial thing. This thing has no color, odor and even has no taste. So, even though it's probably in your mouth right now, you can't taste it. Yes, I'm talking about nitrogen, which is an element that is vital to the life on planet Earth. We can find this non-metallic element almost everywhere, inside your body, inside plants and floating in the air. In fact, about three-fourths of the air you inhale is nitrogen. So, considering the valuable properties of nitrogen, two scientists named Zygmunt Robluski and Karol Olszewski decided to liquefy nitrogen at Jaglionian University in Poland on 15th April 1883. And since then, it has been widely used in various ways such as freezing and transportation of food products, a coolant for computers and removing unwanted skin. And recently, chefs and bartenders use it to create fancy ice creams and cocktails. Because of this, its demand kept increasing and as a result, now, it's readily available for anyone to buy and store. And this is where things can go wrong. Yes, my dear friends, the internet is full of people pouring liquid nitrogen on everyday objects to test its effect. Though it looks fun to try those experiments. However, it's critical to understand that liquid nitrogen can be a very dangerous substance to play with as it's intensely cold and can cause frostbite or cold burns if it is not used and handled correctly. This gives rise to a complex question. What happens if someone fell into a pool of liquid nitrogen? Well, as soon as the person jumps inside liquid nitrogen, a vapor barrier would immediately form to protect their body from freezing. That's because liquid nitrogen boils at a very low temperature of minus 196 degrees Celsius. So, the heat of your body will beat up the liquid and create a layer of vapor underneath it. But the protective barrier would only be temporary and will vanish quickly. So, within seconds, the person will get severe frostbite all over their body, followed by the onset of hypothermia to the internal organs. And that's just the beginning. Yes, as we know, the human body is mostly made up of water which expands when it freezes. So it means the liquid nitrogen freezing the water in a body cells would transform that water into crystals. Soon, those crystals will pierce the walls of your cells causing them to die quickly and the person might feel horrible pain. And as the cold would work its way deeper inside you, muscles, fat, blood vessels and other liquid in the person's body would be frozen solid before he or she passes out in no time. So, the moral of the story is, stay away from liquid nitrogen as much as possible 
and only use it under an expert's supervision. Trivia time! Did you know nitrogen was first isolated by Scottish chemist Daniel Rutherford in 1772? He called the gas noxious air. But later, a French chemist, Jean Antoine Chaptel, in 1790, named it nitrogen after the mineral nitre when he found that nitre contained the same gas. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh no! Hmm, never mind. <laughs>